Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing another unboxing and review. Um, you already know pretty much what this review is of. So I'll just start by saying that I'm really nervous about this actually. Um, I've had this Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds doll since she came out, which was in 2012, so seven years ago? Yeah, seven years ago. And I've kept her in the box all these years. I never thought of taking her out of the box. But recently I have been um, watching Tidying Up on Netflix, um, like everyone else, and I've decided to use um, Marie Kondo's um, KonMari method in order to clean out my collection, because it is too big. Um, I find that things keep falling out, cases keep popping open, um, and Sunny gets to the items when they drop down, and also, um, it's just really, I find that a large collection is really oppressive. So this doll was sitting at the back of a whole bunch of other box dolls, and that bunch of box dolls had more box dolls piled on top of those, so it was like boxes and boxes. So I'm getting rid of some box dolls. I'm deciding to open and enjoy some that have been sitting right at the back, not seen for years. So um, this is one of them. Um, yeah, I never really liked the way that this doll was set out. I don't like it when dolls are placed to the side and then accessories next to them because it feels unbalanced to me. Um, so we have, I hope, bunch of um, stuff written on the back, which I'll just show you. You can read it yourself if you would like. Um, I will just note that this doll is a silkstone doll. It is limited to 7,000 pieces worldwide. And I find that limited edition numbered dolls kind of bring on that anxiety that you can't open it, you can't enjoy it, um, you have to keep it boxed, and it kind of it's really quite oppressive, I find, so hopefully this will be a, liber a liberating experience. Um, so yeah, it is a gold label doll, as it says down the bottom there. And this is what the box has to say. So there were two dolls in this line. Um, as you can probably tell, there is a little red ribbon there. There were two dolls, this one in the white, and then there was one in a black outfit, and she was just a doll without accessories or an extra outfit. I did intend on getting both, but I didn't have the money at the time, and when I went back to get the other one, she was sold out, and then online it just works out too expensive. So I didn't end up getting her. Um, I got this one first because she had all the accessories and such. Um, this is White Diamonds, so both dolls were themed after her perfumes, but the outfits are actually based on um, outfits she's worn um, in films and whatever. These are, if you are familiar with Elizabeth Taylor films, from the film um, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Um, they've added sleeves though, which is quite interesting. Um, I'm not sure if that was the best idea. So let's open her up. So it is just a two piece box. So you can lift that off. Oh, she smells gorgeous. So in the back there, we have the certificate of authenticity. And on the back, Back. On the back of the box we have her stand and her ribbons and all that which are holding her in. That looks like it's come undone a bit. Um, so yeah, I won't go through all of the opening on camera. Yeah, so I'm just going to pull everything out and then we'll have a closer look at it. Okay, so we finally have her out of her box. Um, I can't get this little toggle off her bracelet, which is quite annoying. It's like one of those little plastic toggle staple things. And 
one of the charms just fell off as soon as it came out of the box so I'm, I think just like one of the links was a bit loose so I'll have to try and reattach that so it's just like a tiny little bauble you can't I can hardly even see that it's just a round ball really um but yeah I really love the jewelry and stuff that comes with the silkstone dolls I do find that the stones and pearls and whatnot tend to fall out and you have to kind of glue them back but I like that they're like die cast metal little jewels they're quite pretty so she yeah so she came with this tiara because um naturally it's Elizabeth Taylor so she has to come with jewelry and a tiara is quite fitting <laughs> really um and the bracelet <clears throat> She came with an extra pair of strappy shoes, which, uh, which personally I don't feel like they are a very 60s style, so they're more modern than that, but they're clearly using what they already have. Then she has these glasses, which are actually um, see-through. So I believe they're all molded in a clear plastic, like a clear grey coloured plastic, and then the rims are painted. And the rims are a bit rubbed and stuff, so it does not look the greatest <laughs> again, but um, still pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm glad you can see through them. I don't like it when it's a solid piece of um, opaque plastic. She has a script. says script on it um, and then some Greek looking scribble and it's empty I think they could have put something in there but you know it's Mattel so and this I love this it's a very thick um, sort of crepe like material and it is trimmed with um, lace, which is quite um, like a crochet lace. So very thick and very retro feeling. It has satin um, straps and closes in the back with two um, metal snaps. I was going to say silver, but they're not that fancy. Um, yeah, pretty nice pretty nice I really like this I think I might actually dress her in this rather than in what she's wearing now although I do love the dress that she is currently wearing so we'll start with her hair it is crazy I'm hoping I can fix it if I can't then I might get um a different Elizabeth Taylor doll with a less frizzy poofy hairstyle it is kind of scraggly um dry feeling it's not gelled there are little bits that are coming out so they've obviously cut it in a hurry um yeah um so her dress is this beautiful um crimped um I think that's like a synthetic woven um sort of like linen um and it hasn't been hemmed but it has been um singed at the um end here so it doesn't unravel which is good um she has satin gloves a little hang tag that says Elizabeth Taylor genuine silkstone body the underskirt is an an inverse satin which I think is really quite nice because a lot of the time I find that the back of fabric is actually nicer than the front so it's a very thick satin fabric it has the genuine silkstone barbie tag inside she has gorgeous white 
um, sheer tricot stockings with a seam at the back, some white sling back heels that have a little buckle detail on each side, and the dress closes in the back with two metal snaps. Now she does have a ribbon with a little bow around the waist of the dress. Um, I did actually think that the ribbon holding her into the box was part of the dress and I think this actually looked nicer. Um, but yeah, I can always just tie that around her waist if I wanted to. We'll have a little close-up of her face. Once I get her dress popped back up. So she has these very neutral sort of peachy pink lips which are lined in a sort of dark reddish brown like a um what's the a terracotta red she has beautiful blue eyes and heavy eye makeup so a lot of eyeliner and dramatic um eyelashes she has some nicely um, styled eyebrows. Her head I find is a bit wide as well. I don't think she's the prettiest Elizabeth Taylor doll I have seen. I do tend to prefer the um, celebrity dolls from the 90s. So there was, um, I believe it was, Or was it Violet Eyes? Or maybe that's the other one of the Silk Stones. But there was one and she was in a purple dress. Um, and I think she's quite pretty. Her eyes did look a bit lazy though. Um, and I do prefer the 90s Audrey Hepburn um, Breakfast at Tiffany's Dolls rather than the new Silk Stones that they released. I find that the new Silk Stones tend to look a bit angry, if you know what I mean. Like, if you look at this doll, she looks quite angry. And they didn't walk around with... A frown on their face all the time so I feel like it's been unrealistic but anyway she has a little manicure and we will just have a little look to see if she has a pedicure as well I hope you can see it through the stockings because I don't want to take those off she does I'm not sure if you can make that out but she has a little pedicure and they're in the same, or probably not the same, a similar shade to the lining of her lips. So they're sort of like a, a mauvey reddish brown kind of colour. I love that they have the little AIDS ribbon on it. And last but not least, she has a small bottle of white diamonds one of Elizabeth Taylor's um, fragrances that were released in the 80s, I think. I could be wrong, but the ads I've seen for it look very 80s. She has standard um, articulation for a Silkstone doll of this time. Obviously now they have a lot more articulation, but um, back then they had the rotating neck joint, arms that moved up and down, twist and turn waist, and legs that would move up and down. They do not bend, it is all solid plastic. So I will just point out that she does not have pierced ears or earrings as well. So that is White Diamond's Elizabeth Taylor doll by Mattel. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.